Hello fellow readers, I'm Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going for my November TBR using my game TBR Tarot. My first card was the Seeker of Wands, or this is also known as the Page of Wands, um, and this one is going to be a sci-fi or fantasy that I see everywhere. And the book that I've chosen for this is actually going to be the Literally Dead Book Club's book of the month as well, and that is House of Hunger. I am so excited for this book. It like recently came out and I wanted to read it all October, but I just didn't get to it, um, which actually kind of works out because it is the November pick for Literally Dead Book Club. But either way, this book looks so stunning and I am so excited for it. From what I know about this book I believe it's about like vampires um, and our main character is someone who like lets a vampire use her blood and whatnot but like there's a couple of other people who do that as well and people have started to go missing um, or like something's happening to them so it's kind of like her trying to outlive whatever is happening and I don't know it just sounds so cool and like I said it's stunning so I am so excited to get to this one this month. The next card that I pulled was the Four of Cups, and this one is going to be a romance or contemporary that is a four plus stars on Goodreads. So I did have a couple of options for this that I was looking at. All right, hello. Sorry to break, um, but my whole setup uh, fell and I didn't realize that the microphone sounded awful until I was editing. So here I am editing Stephanie to uh, finish this video. My first thought was take a hint Danny Brown, um, which I am very excited to read. I read the first one earlier this year and absolutely loved it. So I am so excited to continue in that journey. However, the other one I am very interested in trying is The Bodyguard. And I am thinking I might pick this one up just because like I know what to expect from Take a Hint Danny Brown. Like I know I'm gonna love it. Like there's not a question about it versus this one. I feel like I haven't heard that much about it. And like, I'm just very intrigued. I wanna know like, will I like it? Will I not? I don't know. So I do think I'm going to choose this one. This one is basically about um, this couple. It is like a romance, obviously, so they're gonna be a couple at some point. Um, but I think he is famous in some sort of realm um, and she is hired to be his bodyguard. However, they don't want the world to know that he has a bodyguard. So they are actually coming off as if they are fake dating um, so that you know, she can be his bodyguard without anyone knowing. So it just sounds like it will be a really fun time. I'm really excited to try it. So this is my next choice. The next card that I pulled is the Five of Wands, and this one is going to be a sci-fi or fantasy with one to four words in the title. And as you saw, I did roll a three, so I ended up choosing these Violent Delights. I have only heard good things about this one, and it's actually on my list of 22 books that I want to read in 2022, so I really need to get to it before 2022 is over. What I know about this book book is it is like set in the 1920s and um, it is based on Romeo and Juliet so we have like these two different gangs in the community and um, obviously our main two characters are going to be the Romeo and Juliet of these opposing gangs. I think I also read that like there's a monster or something in the water so I am thinking that's how it's a little bit fantasy maybe. Um, but yeah, either way, I'm so excited to read it. I've only heard good things, and this author just came out with a new book recently, and so I really need to get to reading these awesome books before I can move on to the next ones. 
So that being said, this is my next selection. The last card that I pulled is actually the High Sage, or this one is also known as the High Priestess. And this one means it. I need to continue a series. It can be any genre that I want, I just have to continue a series. Again, this one I felt like I could have chosen Take a Hint Danny Brown, but another book that I am so curious about is It Starts With Us. This is the second book after It Ends With Us, and from what I know, this one is kind of following Atlas and Lily after they like kind of bump into each other at the end of It Ends With Us and then this is going to be kind of like their love story and like what happens after the fact so I am very intrigued to see what happens. Obviously it's such a huge book so I am very interested in getting to this ASAP. So all of these plus The House of Hunger are going to be my four books for TBR Tarot this month. I did only read or roll of four for the total count of cards to pull. So um, this is kind of a short stack. However, I do know I am going to be reading a couple of other books. Um, one I know that I'm reading with two of my friends here on booktube, um, Kirsten and Ellie from Reading Nymph and um, Book Bibbidi Boppity Books. I'll leave them linked down below. Um, we are doing a buddy read of Small Favors. So I think that will definitely be added to this stack as items I know I'm going to read. Um, and then I was really sad that I didn't get to Kingdom of the Wicked during Halloween spooky season. So I might try to still do that one. Um, I know that I had gifted this to one of my other friends here on booktube, Tara from Kara's Bookshelf. And so I'm wondering if maybe she's ready to read it and we could do like a buddy read as well, but we will see. So if you liked this video, please like and subscribe down below. Low. And I would love to know what books you're reading in November or even just what books you're trying to get to throughout the rest of the year. And until next time, keep reading!